I want to check out Microsoft Copilot and how I can use it to kind of promote some historical thinking. Shout out to Latanya Ambery, who is a social studies um, specialist with Region 4 Education Service Center for giving me this topic. So here I am, I found this guide from Microsoft Copilot that teaches better prompt and how to use their platform for better prompting. Number one, you choose a conversation style. They've got three, more creative, more balanced, or more precise. Use the creative conversation style if you want something, a response that's going to be original or imaginative. Think poetry. You want a student to produce like a poem or something like that. More balanced, concise, and straightforward. More precise, informative, straight, and friendly. Um, two, then you give it the specific directions and try to steer away from general questions and include more details. Maybe um, use a verb uh, to begin with. You can get more detailed by saying, explain it to me as if I was eight or if I was in the 11th grade or if I am a teacher. Specify the length, how long do you want the answer to be, and in what format do you want them to give you the response. So, the question that we're working on is evaluate the success of various methods used by African Americans to achieve civil rights in the 20th century. Now, after we put this in, the goal is to then have students look at the resources that it's going to give, and then they do the evaluation, they do the further research to say which one they think was the most successful, and then write evidence to support um, based on their research in the claim evidence reasoning strategy. So here we go. I'm going to go with more precise, and I'm even going to add in using primary sources. That way, hopefully, we will direct, kind of narrow the field of where it searches the wide, wide web for information. Let's see what we get. Let's click submit. I love it. So it's classified the methods for me into five categories, legal action, protests and boycotts, marches, legislation, education, and provided for me the sources down at the bottom. Now I can like these results. I do. I can copy them, export them into Word, PDF, or text, share them, or have it read aloud to me. Super cool. I'm going to export them into Word. Now, as a student, I can begin going through these websites, clicking on each link and doing further research. OK, so that was using the precise conversation style. Let's try the same prompt with the balanced conversation style. Let's see what we get. OK. If I do a side by side and compare what I have, we have legal challenges and court battles. Over here, it mentions Brown versus the board, Loving versus Virginia. Over here, this section mentions legislation as well and legal action here. So it mentions Brown versus the board here. Uh, Voting Rights and Civil Rights Act, but um, new information. It did not mention Loving and Virginia. That's a new one. Civil Disobedience and Nonviolent Resistance. I believe the equivalent would be this section here. Protests and boycotts, marches. Now we get mention of Mahatma Gandhi. So a broader connection to history. Bus boycott, that's also mentioned here. Freedom rides, the freedom rides are not mentioned here in the precise view. So again, this is precise and this one is balanced. Legislative advocacy and political pressure, Civil Rights Act of 64, Voting Rights of 65, that's mentioned here under legislation. Oh, this one mentions Executive Order 8082. Media coverage, Bloody Sunday. So at first glance, I am liking so far 
the balance perspective. All right, let's go back one more time. New topic, and I'm going to choose creative, enter my prompt, and see what we get. All right, here's our creative response. We get an image this time. To explore legal action litigation, Brown v. Board, direct action, Rosa Parks, Montgomery bus boycott, marches and public demonstrations, specifically talking about the March on Washington, voting rights, economic boycotts, education awareness. This is the first time that they've mentioned the Little Rock Nine. So it may be worth it just to cycle through all three conversation, uh, conversation styles and combine. But overall, I like it. Thanks for watching.